What's up everybody? It's James with Browns Mowing and Property Management. Just want to give a uh, do a 2020 uh, lawn care trailer setup uh, update. We uh, this year purchased a as you can see 16 foot enclosed trailer uh, switching from the open utility trailers to an enclosed. This will be the first time we've ran a enclosed trailer um, but so far so good we've mowed three days with it and I purchased all the racks and everything before I went and mowed with it and uh, well I, I lied I've mowed the first day with the with the, all the equipment just kind of sitting in there um, but then we the next day we mounted all the racks and everything so uh, it's a 7 by 16 Cargo Express. Um, as you can see, it's a little snug. Um, so definitely uh, Brian at Brian's Lawn Maintenance, uh, he definitely had the right idea with uh, the 8.5 foot wide. I, I think I'll probably upgrade if we stay with an enclosed, and I think we're going to. But at any rate... Um, 7 by 16 for now it was a great deal um, it's a 2010 model but as you can tell no scratches no dents no dings no nothing I mean it's it's in really good shape really good shape this uh, the guy I bought it from um, he uh, bought it to use as storage because in his subdivision he couldn't build a shed they wouldn't allow it so he got around that so anyway it just sat in his yard anyway uh, ramp door obviously um, with the flap and it already had the e-track in it when I purchased it um, so that was cool it was bare walls just completely bare open all brand new looking um, I then purchased the equipment defender um, and no I am not sponsored by them or anything like that I took notes from watching all the YouTube videos and stuff and, and uh, all the feedback and, and um, reviews that I saw on all the uh, racks and equipment defenders built like tanks. I mean, this stuff arrived and guys, I'm telling you, it's heavy. It is very heavy. It is very well built. Um, like I said, we've only ran it for a week, so... I'll do an update, you know, when I get closer or whatever, or when I get more time with it. But <clears throat> nevertheless, right now, love it. Um, I ordered the optional combi locks, um, but and the four position rack. Uh, that way we can carry everything uh, without any interruption. So for this year we're running a i found a great deal on this gravely pro ride 54 um, it was a fantastic deal it's a commercial mower 54 inch deck i know it's kind of an odd size but i also run a gravely um, zthd 52 so i know that just from experience staying inside any whatever is uh, uh, 48 to 54 you can't tell any difference in the stripes so when I found this, I already had that one when I found this one, and I said, well, it was meant to be. So, anyway, uh, PB755T, it looks a little rough, but I'm going to tell you what, this blower is fantastic. I've had no issues with this thing. Um, I bought it used. It starts on the first pull. Um, you do a half choke, pull it, starts. No problem. Ran like a scalded dog the whole time I've had it. And I've had it for three years now. So um, the Equipment Defender Rack, I opted to mount the hook over on the wall. This bracket right there, when I was assembling the rack, I put the bracket on thinking I was going to mount the tube so that it went in the up position. But after putting it in the trailer, I quickly discovered that I didn't like that. And I thought it was going to be harder on the tube. As you can see, my tube is already kind of pushed in and it won't pop back out. That's okay. It, it does not affect the operation. Everything works. It's got a couple, you know, a couple clamps holding it together, but works like a champ. So, anyway, that rack, 
it's freaking awesome man this is the v2 or v3 i think it's got the bar on the top uh, versus the ones before it that had the slide up and down so this thing is awesome uh, that rack is stinking heavy um we run all echo equipment except the combi system um, i haven't tried the pas yet but i do have the combi and i love it it's just a km90r but that thing is phenomenal it's got plenty of power for what we do um, so it's fit all of our needs 100 <clears throat> percent uh two years ago i added the uh, 2620 the srm 2620 so there's that one and then uh this year i went ahead and picked up another srm 225 um, so i like this trimmer it's it's super light i know it's technically a residential model but it's super light and if you have to trim a large property that's a weekly um, account no problem carrying this thing all around all day so and then this is the old srm 225 um, i bought this in 2012 and this thing will not quit um, it's eight years old runs fantastic now that i've said that on video i'm gonna jinx myself uh, but nevertheless right now runs fantastic uh, and it just has not let us down at all so um, I did um, one thing I, I learned very quickly from some of my buddies that race um, I mounted a broom back here on the wall and these little push things here Walmart $1.47 for a two pack and man they hold I mean they really hold and they just they're everything that's mounted on those is kind of light so it doesn't really matter I haven't had anything fall yet and I've driven a few hundred miles with them all mounted so uh, but I mounted the broom there because every day once I put the mowers back in here at every property I sweep this ramp off sweep off the hinges sweep off the ramp and yes I am still in my pajamas <laughs> it's it's early uh, we got all our mowing done yesterday so <laughs> there's that disclosure um, <clears throat> But I sweep the ramp off and sweep the hinges off so that nothing interferes with that and I don't start getting unnecessary wear. Um, Copper Creek Cuts uh, pointed out this, which was pretty cool. Uh, they put a little hole in the uh, top of the bars. Just slide the Allen key in there. And look, I did have one fall out. So it's just to an engine mount. It goes right down here. Actually under here. But uh, anyway, so with this, uh, I opted to keep my combi attachments behind the rack. It's nice and organized. It's stuff that I don't use all the time, and it's out of the way. Even the edger head attaches up there, and it's in between the trimmers, so it doesn't interfere with anything. I also used those same clips, as you can see, those same clips are holding up all the combi attachments. Now, on the edger head, I will say I added a little uh, elastic tie strap that I just wrapped around it because the end of that head is pretty heavy. Um, so I thought, man, if anything's going to fall off, it's going to be that. So I added that little tie strap, but it, I thought it was nice and neat, kept it up out of the way. Um, and I'm able to carry all my attachments. I have the block mounted to the hedge trimmer because that's what we use the most. Um, and quick little note on the combi system with the articulating hedge trimmer or the PAS for that matter. Uh, like I said, I'm an echo guy, but that steel has been great to me. So that is fantastic for undergrowth. Um, undergrowth under bushes and, and you got a bunch of rogue stuff. Uh, just watch, obviously watch it on the fence rows. So um, don't get into metal. You'll tear it up real quick. Right. Then on this side, we I went ahead and mounted the uh, the loppers. Um, I just sat them on the wheel well hump and then mounted them to the with the same clips. Haven't fallen, won't move. So 
I'm gonna walk around the trailer, here the, go in the front door. So uh, we did add the vents. I've got two more vents coming, uh, but I've got one on the opposite corner up here on the front corner, and then I got one on the lower here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. See, there, right up there's the vent. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side of both of them. Um, yes, I keep a 21 inch push mower in here. Um, I do have two properties that I have to push mow because I haven't been able to find a decent deal on a stander yet. But that little Husqvarna, um, with the bagger, I mean, it's, it's been a great little mower. It wasn't cheap when I bought it about, uh, I don't know, five, six, seven years ago, something like that. It was like 500 bucks, but it's been a great little mower. It does exactly what I needed to do, and I've had no issues. Um, again, there's the ZTHD 52 and the ProRide 54. Um, I did pick up a an X-mount single bracket or single bracket and then this little hook um, because when I pull my straps out of my e-track and this the, the mowers don't move guys this is just to keep them if I have to break hard it's to keep them from slamming into one another or into anything else they don't move where they're at with just the brakes on but in the abundance of caution I put the straps on just to kind of give them that little bit of extra snugness so but the little hook there, I take the straps off and I can hook them right there on that hook. They're up out of the way. I don't have to trip over anything, so on. Um, I also purchased the Equipment Defender hand tool rack. Great little rack. Um, I put my stuff in, you know, I've only got one of each in here right now because, but it doesn't move. Like it's got so many slots on it. You just go back to the closest one you need and boom. Uh, and then what's up front is a shelving system. Now this was in the trailer when I purchased the trailer. So this shelf went all the way across and I thought, you know, that's usable space. So my brother and I, we, uh, cut this shelf off, tidied everything up over here and I don't have racks for those two blowers just yet so that's where they live right now they don't move um no the bungee cords are not there to hold them on they're just that's where i put the bungee cords <laughs> that's nothing else to it um but i mounted my spare tire up there to save all the floor space i could and then the trailer aid uh for changing tires um, and then you know i keep an extra belt for the pro ride um that's the deck belt i keep the Let's see uh, there's a darwin grip there um i had it on the 225 and i didn't like the way it was when i mounted it so i took that off and i'll have to readjust that i just haven't done it yet uh, extra trimmer head um little uh, flat tire kit obviously um and then some extra spool or extra trimmer line uh, grease for the hedge trimmers and an extra trailer lock i don't use that one those are really cheap guys. I mean, um, no discredit to Reese or the, 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 uh, system, but this is just, it's not a super secure lock. Um, I just have it there if I need to like quick throw something on the trailer and like run to pick up something, you know, if, if, I, if God forbid a blower breaks or something like that, or I got to grab some more gas or whatever. Um, I can just throw that on there real quick, run down the road and be right back. Um, and then obviously my little pruners, my little pruning saw, a couple straps, uh, red armor oil. Uh, we were using the steel mix, uh, switched over to the red armor oil and so far so good. No issues. The equipment seems to start a little easier. Um, I use all Kawasaki brand oils and filters in my mowers because that's the motors that's on them. So. Oh, and then uh, the uh, little Aries lug nut kit for the trailer. Um, Amazon, like 29 bucks. Super easy. I keep an extra uh, hitch pin, extra safety pin for it. 
<clears throat> and then uh, a couple blowers. This one we picked up. Uh, we picked up a new one this year. The I forget what this is. Ah, the twenty six twenty. It's the QB twenty six twenty um, handheld. And then that old. That's a twenty twelve model. Uh, PB250 again runs like a scalded dog. I take care of my equipment so everything runs fantastic. Um, that's the biggest thing you got to take care of your equipment. So, um, at night, even though where I live, like there is really, I, I have really truly no worries, but I did buy the, the Trimax puck locks, um, THP XLs. Uh, these things are. It's about four pounds. I mean, maybe not four pounds. It's it's like two pounds. Solid freaking stainless. I mean, these are heavy freaking locks. So I put them on there on the doors. Um, I've got three of them for all three doors. and Or both doors, all three locks, sorry. And, uh, you know, I don't really see anybody getting in there. Um, if they do, I mean, maybe they need it worse than I do. I don't know. But again, I, I didn't do it because I'm storing my trailer in a bad area or anything. I'm just, again, the abundance of caution, you know, keeps honest people honest. That's all it does. So, um, oh, the hand tools. I run Razorback, lifetime warranty stuff. Um, fantastic. I've never broken one of those tools. Um, but the places where I bought them, they said, if you ever break one, you bring in the broken tool we trade you out and you walk away no issues so that's what we run but anyway that's uh i just keep a couple regular gas cans i don't have sure cans or no spills or anything like that i just um when we're traveling down the road we uh or well when the gas can's in here at all it's tethered to the neck so i just barely turn the the nozzle it keeps it from building pressure and on this one I just pop it like every time we stop, I just pop it open and then close it back. It's not something that I have to remember to do. And I haven't had that can build up pressure. It does have a pinhole at the top um, just to keep it from building pressure. Uh, but and then I keep a bucket in here for just random trash. But anyway, that's the uh, 2020 setup. We're going to see how it runs. Um, I think that I'm going to like it uh, so far. So good. And I do have, um, I just got my, my graphics that are going to go right down the side here. And then I've got a small single line one for the back. Um, it's got my company logo and, and, uh, the phone number and stuff on it. So I just, I like the way it looked. I'm going to, I'm going to set that on there. Hopefully it's warm enough here. I don't know in the next day or so, but uh, and then run an old, old uh, the old Silverado. She's a half ton, and she gets done everything I need her to do. Uh, uh, we call her the mistress because my wife says I spend more time and money on that truck than I do on her. So uh, I do only have one safety cone. I know somebody's going to see that and probably comment on it, but I've got to pick up four more safety cones because when I put this big door down, I'm going to set out four cones because I'd hate like hell for somebody to run up in my trailer. So uh, anyway, that's where I'm at. Oh, I forgot. I did pick this up yesterday. Uh, it's the green touch spool rack. Um, the only reason I bought this one was because it was on the shelf in the store where I went in. Um, so it was already, it was readily available. It was right there. Um, I bought this one running the CF3 Pro, uh, full disclosure. I don't really like this line. I like the Echo Black Diamond. Um, when this spool's gone, I'll get a spool of uh, of the uh, Black Diamond. But for now, we're gonna run this, you know, until it's gone. So, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, that's the trailer. That's the setup. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, subscribe, check them out. I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos this year uh, because we are. I'm full time now with this. Uh, made the plunge and left my corporate job no more corporate america and we're going full time so i uh, made a substantial investment to get everything set up the way i needed it or where i thought i needed it 
and now we're going to go full time with this and uh, we're going to make a go of it. So, all right, you guys have a great day. Um, if you guys have any questions or whatever, drop them in the comments below. Um, let me know what you think. Well, you know, give me your feedback on the equipment defender racks on, on, you know, the Gravely mowers. I, I really like the Gravelys. Um, I know uh, the guys out down at Florida Turf Pros, they use only Gravelys as well. Um, I watch all those guys. Uh, I've picked up a lot of helpful tips and tricks and stuff from all the other channels. So really enjoy all the content. But um, that's uh, that's what I chose to run. And so far, so good. Uh, but anyway, guys, have a great day. Enjoy the sun. It's supposed to be like 85 degrees. To, or no, 75 degrees today and sunny most of the day. So we're going to get out and make some money. All right. Have a great day, guys.